In this video, let us learn about the k-means clustering and understand the intuition behind k-means clustering. k-means clustering. Now there are a couple of things that you need to understand as a prerequisite before we start to understand the intuition behind the k-means clustering technique. The first thing is that the value of k must be known or you can say pre-specified before we start running the k-means clustering algorithm. Now here k is nothing but the number of clusters. So number of clusters. And here in k-means it must be known prior to the execution of the algorithm. So the number of clusters into which you want to divide your data into should be known prior to the execution of the algorithm. The second thing is that each row or each observation that we have in our data set can belong to only one cluster and it must belong to one cluster only. Every row or observation should be present in some cluster. Now the idea behind k-means clustering is that if your intra-cluster distance, so to understand this, let me take an example of a cluster. So this is a cluster. And let us say this cluster contains five points within it. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now the intra-cluster distance is defined as the summation of the pairwise distance between all the points present within the cluster. So if I say this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, then you need to calculate the distance of point 1 relative to all these points. Then same for 2, then same for 4, same for 3 and 5 as well. So you need to compute the distance of a point from all other points and then we need to sum it up. And the distance that we get is called as the intra-cluster distance. Now the distance between all the points that are present within the cluster can be computed using the Euclidean distance formula. Let us take a simple example to understand how the intra-cluster distance is computed for the points that are present within the cluster. Now let us say we have a data set where we have two columns which represent the features. So column 1 and column 2. And let us say we have this axis with us. And here let us say we have the values for column C2. And here for column C1, then we have our points. So these are our five points. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And let us say the coordinates of this point is x1, y1. And for this point, it's x2, y2. Now in order to compute the Euclidean distance between the points 1 and 5, which is represented by this green line, we can make use of the Euclidean distance formula. So it is under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So this gives us d15. Now let us understand the significance of the intra-cluster distance. Now using the intra-cluster distance, we can determine which cluster is a better one. So the idea here is that smaller the value of the intra-cluster distance for some cluster, better is the cluster relative to other clusters which have a high value of intra-cluster distance. So in essence, closer the points that are present within a cluster, the smaller will be the value of intra-cluster distance and better that cluster would be in terms of similarity. So let us understand this with the help of an example. Let us say we have these two clusters. And let us say the points in the first cluster are very close to each other, say like this. And for the second cluster, we have the points that are far away from each other. So this is cluster 1, C1, and this is C2. Now here you can see, if you compute the value of the intra-cluster distance, which is the distance of all the points relative to each other when summed up together. So you can see each point is very close to other points that are present within the cluster. So here we will get a very small value for intra-cluster distance compared to the cluster C2. So this means closer the points that are present inside your cluster, which is in C1 as you can see here, the more is the similarity and the better is the cluster. So this is a better one, right? So this was all I wanted to cover in this video. If you liked the video, do give it a thumbs up or comment down below if you have any query. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's catch up in the very next one.